Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide and this time it's the guide for the Chinook Salmon. So I'm at the moment in California and in this video I'm going to split the video in two. It's going to be one video but the first part is all about bobber fishing and the second part is about lure fishing because the salmon here is uh, a fish that eats a lot and so I tested all the bait that was suitable for the salmon and that's what I'm going to show you guys and I need to take the whole day to uh, find out every time of the day that it works for the bait so I didn't have time uh, in one day to do the lures and the bait so first of all I'm going to show you guys uh, where I am at the moment so I'm in California and you need to go here to the Criton Dam and what you need to do is I think you start over here so you just run to here and that's where you need to stand I discovered two positions that you can fish uh, the salmon uh, it's almost at the same distance, around 20 meters to 25 meters. But the left side, you need to go a little bit deeper than the right side. But I will show you guys uh, when I show uh, the spots. So first of all, I'm going to show you guys what my setup is. Because the salmon, the normal salmon, is around 6 kilograms to, I think, 7, 8 kilograms. So that means that he's really heavy and he gives a fight too. It's not easy to get him in. It takes some time most of the time. And you need to be sure that you are not timed out. Otherwise you're fucked. I didn't have the chance to catch a trophy. A trophy is around 16 kilograms. So I'm not sure that I even can get it in with the gear that I got. But I didn't have a trophy. It's only the normal ones. The main problem with the salmon is that it's really hard to catch. So for a normal fish it's really hard because if you uh, see the carp, the carp you just throw in and every throw you got almost a carp. That's not the story with the salmon. So it was really hard for me to test this stuff. So first of all I'm going to show the, the gear like I already said. So I'm going with, let me open this here. With my Nero 450 I think that everybody is almost fishing with that uh, line. Uh, I need to say uh, with that rod. I'm using the Fatboy Spin 5000. That means it can handle 7.7 .7 kilogram. That's what you need because it's uh, it's a really big fish. Uh, I'm going for the sport uh, bobber. That's not really important. You can go with the water bobber or something else. It doesn't matter a lot. It's a really big fish. Why I'm using the sport bobber? Because he's a little bit more stable in the water. Because you're here at the dam. That means we are we are in front of the dam. That means that you got the flow here of water. So you will see when I throw in what happens. My line is going away and it pushes a little bit on my uh, on my bobber, and that's normal because you're uh, in front of a dam. So that's normal. What I used with the normal bait is I used the hook uh, two and I used the hook the hook number four. So this one and this one. I used some other hooks too. You can catch uh, salmon with the two. But it's a little bit harder. So the two and the four works really well. I will say to you guys when you need to use the two and when you need to use the four. Okay. For my uh, line I'm using the Mechfin 0.23. Let me have a check what uh, kilograms I can push with it. It's... Uh, I think I just used my last one. Yeah, indeed. But I think it's around 9 kilograms that I can get out of the water with that line. But you need it too. So that's my setup. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you guys the positions now. There are two positions. There is a right position and there is a left position. Okay, I will show you guys what depth that you need to fish and where you need to throw. Then I'm going to show you guys which bait I use with which hook and what uh, can work for the salmon. It's a lot of info I know but it's a complicated fish too. It's an ugly fish. It's unbelievable how ugly that fish is. It's, it's, I am, every time I got one I'm scared if I see him. But yeah, it's a cool fish so yeah, whatever. So first of all, here at the right 
you will see there is a spot. This is the spot where my marker is now. That's around, I think, 20 meters, and you can go to here, 23, 24. That's the spot that you need to be. The depth that you need to use on that spot is this. I will show you guys. It's 40 centimeters. That's what I'm using, and it works for me. So 40 centimeters at the right, at around, let's say, 18 meters until 23 meters away from it, like this is the sweet spot. I will throw in for a moment for you guys just to show it. And that's the spot. So if you are there, you're, you're okay. You need to wait a little bit because the, the salmon takes his time. Sometimes you need to wait 10, 15 minutes uh, until he comes. Okay, the other spot I will show you guys right away is on the left side. But it's over here and it's around the same meters, 20 meters until 22, 23. But here is one thing that you need to change and that's the depth. So that's what I'm going to do too. So what you need to change is I fish here on 110 centimeters in depth and you just throw behind the rock okay and you will see with the flow of the water that's a little bit too far so just really little bit 20 21 22 is good and you will see with the flow of the water that my bobber is going more to the middle if you are like one meter two meters away from the middle uh, from the rocks I mean, uh, reel back in and go again. Okay, that are the two sweet spots, left 110, right 40 centimeters depth, and that's what you need to know. That's the most important. On those two positions, I got a lot of salmon. Yeah, a lot is very big words, but I got salmon on that position. It's not that it's farmable, but uh, you will see. And that's what it does. You see that my bobber is always a little bit moving. That's the flow of the water. Okay, I'm going to reel back in. So you guys got now the two positions. For my drag, I play with a drag too. Because that fish can pull really hard. You will see that if you go with three, you got a red line icon. And your tension go to red. If you go with three drag, after some time you break stuff. And that's not the thing that have has to happen so that's what you need to do drag to just put your speed on four and you will be okay that was a technical aspect of this fishing so you guys know the position you know the depth you know the setup now i'm going to show you guys like always what my loot is for a whole day of fishing so the main problem was with the salmon i was a little bit worried at some start because all the bait that was in the shop for the salmon was almost all gold bait. Gold coins needed to be paid for that bait. There was one that you can buy with normal currency and that's the natural eggs. And I was really happy that I got a, a, a salmon with that bait because take it from me, nobody is going to fish on this fish with gold coins. Why would you do that? Okay, it's nice experience, you can farm experience with it, but it never gives gold back. So I was really happy that it's, it's fishable with normal currency bait. And you guys already can see, with premium, this fish gives like a shitload of experience. 450, 400, nice money too. My net is like two thirds full and I got already 535 uh, currency. So that's really good. Okay, I started fishing at the morning. I got the impression that they bite a little bit better in the morning. From 5 o'clock until 8 to 9. That's the best moment of the day in this area. And from 3 o'clock in the afternoon. At midday, I didn't saw a lot of uh, salmon going. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the bait. So I started with natural eggs. For natural eggs, you need to use the hook too. Okay, the big hook, not the small one, the, this one. This number, two slash zero hook. Okay, I'm only used this hook and uh, this hook. 
I will say which page you need to use what. So for the natural X, it's 2.0. For I used the Dragonfly 2, natural X were not so good for fishing in my opinion. But I expected that because they are not gold bait. So you can fish with the natural X. It's the most uh, not expensive stuff that you can use. But it was not so good. The gold baits worked a lot better. Then I went to the dragonflies. And that's the first time that I catch something with those dragonflies. And it worked so good. It was unbelievable. I throw in. Right away I got uh, a salmon. So it worked really well. But of course you need to pay gold for it. Then I went still. This one is hook 2.0 for the dragonflies. Then I went to the small minnows. And for the small minnows. You need to use the hook 4.0. So you need to go a little bit higher. A, a salmon in real life likes living bait. And it works really well. There is one big problem with the small minnows that is. And you see it already under here. You got a smallmouth bass too. So I would not fish with that ever again on the salmon. Because you are throwing gold away for a smallmouth bass. Then I went to the large minnows. And the large minnows yeah, were the best. Simple like this. If you want to catch a lot of salmons. You need to go with the large minnows. Or with the dragonflies. But it's very expensive in gold. So it was the large minnows. I threw it in. It was, I saw the salmon coming uh, out of the water. Attacking it, he took it right away. It was yeah, just throwing in, getting the fish out, throwing in, getting the fish out all the time. But it's very expensive. So that was it for uh, for the bobber fishing. Uh, yeah, here you already can see that I started to lure fishing. Uh, but that's for the second part. I'm now going to, to show you guys the lure fishing. But that's it. If you don't want to spend gold on fishing this uh, fish, just go for the natural eggs. I showed you guys the positions. If you want to spend some gold and do a good experience farm, you can go with the dragonflies and go with the large minnows. By the way, the large minnows is uh, hook 4.02. I got the impression that the 6.0 is a little bit too uh, big for the salmon. Okay, guys? Okay, guys. This is part 2 and here I'm going to show you guys the lure fishing on the salmon. So uh, to just the position is just the same. So you just throw here at the right and on the left. Uh, what I do is you can have good speed on your lure. Because uh, there are a lot of snag points here in this area. So just put it on 2 or maybe 3 speed even and just get that lure in. Strike the meanwhile a little bit that your lure is going up and down the whole time. So here you can see right away after the 20 meter mark the lure starts hopping really hard. And that means that it's uh, not that deep there. And then it goes back to deep. So the, 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 the rock goes into the water and that's I think what is happening. And that's, I think, a snag point. We went now really easy over it. So that worked really well. That's how you need to throw. The same at uh, the other side. So throw in on 20, 25 to 26 meters. And then you reel in. You can have the speed really high to prevent snag points. Okay, right away to the, the lure testing. Because otherwise this move is going to be way too long. Okay, my setup. Uh, Forecaster 260, Helios 3000P, P stands for power, for the people that don't know, and S stands for speed. So that means that is a gold one, I think, but you can check it out if you can get like 8 kilograms in, it's more than enough. Uh, I'm using the Fluoro 0.4, it can uh, drag 9.1 kilogram. Why I'm using Fluoro? Because I like it. It's, uh, it's not so feasible like bread line, so uh, I like to use it a lot, if I can, because most of the time it doesn't support the reel, or it's a little bit too low uh, on kilograms to get the fish out. So that's my setup, right away to the fishing. Uh, so the main problem, if you use uh, lures instead of bait, that is that you're going to catch a lot of other fish. 
here you can see I got in total five salmons and I got from other fish seven other so that's the main problem I tried the most uh, spoons the most chats uh, I even tried let me think uh, what was what was the name I tried 20 more I ah, had yeah, the best cheek of course I tried to the 14 gram the 28 gram no luck I tried the chat uh, shed seven centimeters the shed seven centimeters the red and the yellow the green it didn't work it's possible that it works but i didn't get one fish on it so i threw it like 10 20 times at that position and i didn't get a fish in on the other fact the narrow spoon and the medium spoons work really well so my guess is that's the main prio for catching the salmon here just go with the narrow spoon like you see uh, there is the black one i used the purple one i used uh, here i think it's the, the the lemon tiger if i'm not mistaken this is the red tiger medium spoon it works really well but of course you catch other fish with it too so if you want to go luring here uh with your uh with your spoons uh go for narrow and go for medium spoon. I think that the black narrow spoon seven is the best. That's my opinion. So that was it for the guide guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, another thing, very important here guys is, I did this mistake too, buy your license before you come here. If you don't have a license and you bring a salmon in, even with bringing him in, you're going to be fined for thousand currency simple like that why is that i didn't know that because a salmon if he's catched once in most of the 100 percent of the time he dies therefore get the license otherwise you got a fine of thousand currency simple like that even if you release him so that was the movie see you later guys happy fishing bye bye